hi everyone welcome to this video in this video i wanted to teach you some basic commands to do smb enumeration now there are multiple different ones and we are just going to take a look at some of them in our video today i want to keep the video short so what i've decided we'll do most of the command except for the metasploit ones and the metasploit one we're going to do it in a separate video in the follow-up one so what i have I have two different machines, the Metasploitable for both Windows and Ubuntu. And if you look at my setup here, I'm running the Kali machine. This is my Kali box. And I have a Metasploitable, Metasploitable 3 Windows 2008. And then I have a Metasploitable 3 Ubuntu version. Both are available. Okay, I have a, this lab set up for me. And these are my IPs that I have set up for my Ubuntu's 172.16.0.1.1. Sorry for the Metasploitable, that is for the Windows, and 122 is for the Ubuntu. So let's go and open up a command window. Okay. Now in this command window, what we would like to do, I'm going to start with the command called nmb lookup. Okay, let's just run this without anything. And make sure that this command is actually available to Kali by default. And if you see, I'm getting all kinds of options. So let's just run this command and see if there's anything dash H for help. It's giving me the same thing. So let's just do, sometimes I try all of them and I, I recommend that you also try. Okay, so the man actually has a little bit more information about this particular in MB lookup command. And it is telling you it's a net bias of a TCP IP client used to look up net bias name. So for example, you, if you want to try to know the, you know, the host name for a particular IP, you can use this tool to enumerate for that one. So let's just run a very simple command that I have here. Okay, let me clear the screen. And what we want to do, we want to just do an MB map. And then we just want to provide the IP address. So let's just do try the Windows one 172.16.0.121. Okay. Let's see what I get. Okay, this one says it can't even find that guy. Okay. Let's try 122. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay, it is also telling me that. It is not able to find so let me go back and make sure that they're actually running okay uh, and let's do if config to validate that i have the right ip address 1.16.0.122 that looks good and i want to also make sure oh it looks like my windows is now down it's for some reason not running and look at that it's down so let's just turn back on and once it turns on then we'll, we'll we'll do our work so while this is coming up uh you can uh look at the man page in the time let's look at what else can you do so the man page gave you this and this is the one that was swinging up if you try to run this command up without anything okay and it is telling you this tool is part of the smb samb or the samba suite and it is used to query the neighbor's name and map them to the IP address in a network where you are running the neighbors over TCP IP queries. Okay. So let's see if this guy looks like it's probably available. So let me go back and clear the screen again. And here. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll try the 21 again and it is still not working so i need to find the ip address give me one second okay my host is not running so let's retry our command again and this time what we'll do we'll do nmb lookup and that's a and we're going to provide the ip address so 121 is where my windows server 2008 is running so if I hit enter, now it's I'm getting some some results back. So the background two zero zero eight R two is actually the host name of the machine. 
So that's how simple it is if you have the assembly protocol running. This is one of the commands that you can use. So remember this one, nmb lookup that's a that's a few other commands uh, that we can also use for our environment let's see if it's so we looked at the nmb one and uh, let's try nbt scan so that's another one that we can use so nbt scan if you do that again i'm just gonna run without any ip address and here is the nbt scan now this time it's actually giving you some information about that particular tool this is a free software and it comes with absolutely no guarantee okay and the all the flags that you have uh, that you can use and at the bottom you have some useful commands so if you do nbt scan dash r then you can provide slash 24 to scan the whole network you can scan a range of IP address from dot 125 to dot 137. If you have das v and das s, okay, and then it it format using the colon as a fill separator, products output like, and it's you know it's gonna give you all that uh, detail information. So for us, what we'll do, we'll just run it. We'll just keep it simple. Uh, let's see, just clear my screen, and what I want to, I just want to do a very simple nbt map and the ip address okay let's copy best okay again 121 is still my windows machine so if you hit enter so if you see what happened it uh, got my ip address it again it got the nate files name for my server okay and it also got the mac address for me so it's pretty useful right so nmb is the other one that we did okay nmb lookup okay that gave me some information right this and the mac address here and if you see this mac address and this mac address is matching so both two are giving me the similar or same information that i want to know about the particular host so let's see what what else can we do okay uh the other one sometimes is useful uh is to do a smb map now smb map uh if you have a share okay and you may not okay like over here it just couldn't find anything and it just give me it didn't give me anything let me try sm on 22 uh okay so the 22 is uh my uh, ubuntu box okay but interestingly the ubuntu box it is telling me that i do have some stuff in there okay if i ran run this command on the ubuntu which is also most likely running the samba protocol right it is going to go over different uh, shares and it's actually looking for what kind of permission i may have and trying to give me some comments in there so this tool, this command is also useful uh, to map the different drives that are kind of shared with you. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, SMB client, we looked at the other couple things that we I really like is the in map. In map is you already probably know about the tool, and with the first one, we can also try to enumerate the different share. Okay, what this tool try to do, the SMB map, you can also do that with in map. So let's just again clear the screen and let's actually re change the font size just a little if I can. Change the font size to say uh, 11. Let's see. It might fit in my screen better. So if I run this, so the command I'm running SMB map is that what we wanted? No, we don't want SMB map, we want to run the in map command. So let's just go this, copy the in map, and I'll explain the command real quick. So, what you're doing here, uh, in map has a script engine, okay? So, I'm saying, hey, in map, go after the script and find the SMB in a share script and run this, uh, run this scan on port 139 and port 45 those are the two shares or uh, two ports where you typically run the smb protocol 
then I'm providing the IP address of the Windows machine. Let's start there. Let's see what it what it finds. Up, I gotta do in map. <laughs> gotta provide the in in here. There we go. And what it did, it tried to do some scan. Okay, and it looks like the host is up. Yeah, the service is running it tried to do the assembly enumeration but for some reason we don't have enough permission to do anything so it it tried to went after the admin folder it went to the c drive and it went to the ipc which are by the way the default shares in a in a windows server environment and it didn't find much information so it it at least gave me the anonymous access here this is maybe the, we have the read access so we still don't have a lot of information but it did it was able to find okay these are two ports that are open okay and i have these services that are running let's see what happens if i run the same script on on the ubuntu box which is on 122 so i'm still running this scan okay the scan is going on and it is trying to go after the after the ubuntu box and trying to enumerate any kind of folders anything that we have uh, for the SMB and this one it looks like I have a little bit more information in here okay uh, again in this one it went after uh, the IP address the IPC and then here I have interesting uh, output anonymous access is read write current user access is read write then it went after the print share and it's again it's looking for access it couldn't find anything it went after the public one anonymous accesses couldn't find anything then let's see if it did find anything anywhere else no that's about it so these are the information that i'm getting from this in the enum share the next thing we can do okay we can look for any smb vulnerabilities that we may have uh, with this particular host to that one i can run almost similar command what we'll do we'll change that to in map and then do this so here what i have is in map then i'm going i'm doing smb vuln star so any kind of smb vulnerabilities and let's look at uh if i have anything for 121 and let's just do 122 as well maybe try this one let's see if that works okay so now what is going on it is it has started the scan okay and this time it should scan both 121 and 122 so together in one go so just give it a second and see what is going on with the scan so this is what again what uh the inmap is doing inmap is going to the script engine and looking for any script that has anything to do with the SMP vulnerability it looking at these ports right 139 and 445 and it's giving us the output so here is the 121 and this is the output the 121 and again this is the result and it says very interesting thing it says hey the remote execution vulnerability in microsoft smb version one is vulnerable so now this is a you know very very high risk vulnerability and this is the one that actually relate to the eternal blue vulnerability it's a critical remote code execution vulnerability that exists in microsoft smb version one server you should not have this one you should patch your system and uh, let's go this is the report for the other ip address okay 172.16.0.22 and then this one this one says hey you may be vulnerable as well so both of the systems are likely vulnerable so we have done a lot of good stuff in here okay and the is in the in map script man it's just it's just wonderful right so the next thing what is really what you can do you can use this information that you have already figured out that you have uh, smb vulnerabilities okay 
and uh, the vulnerabilities related to this particular CVE, okay? And this is really called the MS-17010 vulnerability. How can you use that? Now in here, we can use the Metasploit to actually exploit this vulnerability and create a shell and get access to the system. How to do that? Let's do it in the next video. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.